What's going on, everybody? What's happening? What's up, Manic? What's up, Eva? PM Collector Boy, Mizroy, thank you so much for the Miz Raid. Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing. <laughs> I'm here. I made it in one piece. Today was, uh, there was a lot going on today. It was, it was trying. So I am glad, quite glad to be here now. So also feels like it's been ages since I last saw y'all. Um, even though it was just two nights ago. Excuse me. Excuse me, I push any key. Um, so yesterday, yesterday, uh, I, okay. So you know how I've been playing, I've been playing Chance of Senar, that really neat, uh, translation, puzzly, exploration-y game. I've also cracked into, uh, Farthest Frontier, a uh, really neat, uh, frontier colony sim game by the, uh, the Grim Dawn developers. Been enjoying all that, right? Sunday. My younger daughter wanted to play Timberborn. Miseroy, thank you so much for subscribing for nine months. As Twitch Babby formed. <laughs> um, so she wanted to play Timberborn. So I set her up and she started playing and two things happened. One, my daughter is really good at Timberborn. Um, without, without really any input from me, she had, she had a colony going like gangbusters, like no problem. The other thing that happened is that I really wanted to play it after watching her play it. So I'm, I'm back on the beaver game now. I've logged another god. I don't know. Like I played, I played a bunch yesterday afternoon. I played a bunch yesterday evening. I played some during my breaks. Like it's just, it's all, it's all beavers. It's all beavers. Nothing but beavers now. Um, and it's great. It's really great. There's two. There are two beaver factions you can play as, and they play differently. Um, there's the standard ones that are the kind of like hippy dippy little. Uh, environmentalists and then the other ones I'm playing now are the more industrial ones who have some really weird qu quirks like they they reproduce through breeding pods <laughs> they like clone themselves instead of the more uh, conventional rough and tumble way of reproducing they uh, they eat lots of like fermented and canned food so you have to set up like canneries and fermentation things and yeah it's crazy. What's up, Arcane? Good to see you. What's up, Fury Fighter? Good to see you as well. Ah, Arcane. Availing themselves of the option, the big option for this week. Okay, there's some stuff going on. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it. I'm gonna go ahead and let you know what's going on. Which group uses the birthing pods? Uh, the Iron Teeth. There's the Folk Tales are kind of like the standard ones. Um, standard uh, environmentalist beavers and then if, if you do well enough with the folk tales, you unlock the, the, uh, the iron teeth. They are more complicated. They require access to power for more things. They require access to metals much earlier than the folk tales do. Um, it's interesting. It's really interesting. I'm enjoying playing as them, but yeah, it's a very different experience. So, uh, but yes, they require more Vespian gas. Exactly. Okay. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Um, Two big things are going on right now. One is that this Friday, you know the rest of the schedule. Tonight's Dragon Quest Builders, tomorrow's Dragon Quest Builders, Wednesday's Dragon Quest Builders, Thursday's the Power Hours, Saturday's the Power Hours. But Friday, oh, but Friday, we're doing another wheel. The wheel returns for revenge. Uh, and this time we're doing itch.io bundles like we were talking about on Saturday. So the plan is thusly. If you use command exclamation point the wheel, no space, just exclamation point the wheel, you will get links to the bundles that I own on itch.io. There you go, there it is. Wow, that formatting is terrible. Is that actually gonna, does that form just, that forms one big stupid bot, I swear to God. Let me fix that. 
There's, it's, it's supposed to be three lengths. Oh, 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 I know what to do, okay. Just to, just to make sure, because you would think that normal formatting would, would separate these things out, but you would be wrong. <laughs> All right, try it again. Quality coding expect. Reflection of its creator, damn. Y'all, y'all spicy tonight. There, there it is. Excellent. When in doubt, throw hyphens in there. All right, so those are the three, those are the three big bundles that I own on itch. Each of them consisting of hundreds, hundreds of games, thousands probably combined. Um, comb through those, look for something that you want to see on Friday, something that you think will entertain the, the streaming masses um, and submit it, throw it on there. We'll do as we always do with the wheel. We'll endeavor to get through as many games as we can uh, on wheel night. We'll pick a most entertaining game of the evening. Uh, if it's your game, you get to be channel VIP. If you're already a channel VIP or have one of the overriding badges, uh, you will get a fabulous mystery prize. And I know that's exciting. Good evening, Shadows. Peach, I see you there. I see you sneaking in there. What's up? But yes. So that's one big thing that's going on. You just reminded me that I'm Sky Rogue, so I redownload. Oh, nice. Sky Rogue's really fun. Abduction took you about nine hours without a guide. It'll probably only take you three. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence, Eve. I appreciate that. I caught you. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. Okay, so. Wheel happening on Friday. Bot will continuously remind you of that endlessly. Um, the other thing that's going on. I, chat, have screwed up. I know, I know you don't, you don't need to say anything. I know, it is, it is a, a rare thing to hear that I may have made some form of mistake or fault, but in this case, it is true. It is true, and I am a big enough streamer to admit it, truly. I screwed up. Uh, I have been derelict in my duties in stewarding the practice of Community Nights. Uh, in my estimation, in my opinion, Community Nights have floundered a bit over the last couple of months because of a lack of structure. Because I simply tossed them out into the world and said, organize, do the thing. And without any kind of, of, of cohesive structure, without any kind of regularity, their, their difficulty to take flight is certainly assured. So, so I have taken steps to rectify this. Uh, I have a new structure that I'm going to use. First of all, community night organizing has always happened and will always happen on our Discord uh, server. If you're not in our Discord and you want to be part of community night, or if you want to talk to all these people here that do things and say things outside of streams, you should be on there. Rask, hello, how you doing? Good to see you, buddy. Hope you've been well. Um, so, <clears throat> what we're gonna do is at the end of each month, at the very end of each month, uh, I am going to uh, ask for volunteers to manage the following month's community night. I'll gather up all the volunteers on the last day of the month. I will select one at random, probably put them on a wheel. I put everything on a wheel, it's what I do. I see a selection of things, I put them on a wheel. That person will be responsible for managing community night that month. Um, I will give them up to two weeks. I will give them up to two weeks to arrange whatever it is that we're going to do. So up until the 14th of that month. Um, and in that time, they need to decide on a, uh, a theme, which can be their own decision or they that can be part of the decision-making pro process. And then they need to decide the content 
for the stream. Probably a game or multiple games. Could be other stuff too. Um, but that all that needs to be decided in some kind of communal manner, hence community night. Uh, it can be through nominations and voting, it can be through random selection, it can be through competition, however you all want to do it. But that is that is the structure that we're going we're going to undertake. Going back to something close to the old system, I don't even remember the old system, but yes, I guess. I think we had I think we had designated community night people per month. And I think when we dropped off of that, that's when community nights themselves dropped off. So but for March, for March, we're actually selecting between two options right now because they were already established back in February. Um, and because of a lack of structure, they kind of collided. So we're either going to do a rhythm game night or a Rage Expo night. Rage being extremely amateur Sonic fan games. <laughs> and I do mean extremely. So. If you have a predisposition one way or the other, either for rhythm games or games of a fashion, get on Discord, get in our Community Night channel, and vote. Uh, Satellite Sun, uh, Wayward Satellite on Discord, has the voting post that you can react to. Been doing okay, get leave from work to get ECT treatment. And they see a substantial improvement. It's good, that sounds good. Sounds like important pro progress. I am happy for you. Yeah, it's a shit post game jam. <clears throat> good luck indeed. Good luck indeed. <laughs> Been playing through the last Bible trilogy. <laughs> oh my goodness, Shadows. Oh my goodness. I think actually I may have hit on everything I need to talk about. I think. I think that was it. I told you what I've been playing. I told you that beavers are consuming all my time now. And I talked about Friday and I talked about community night. Hey, I think we're there. I think only 15, only 15 minutes. We're speed running this one. It's crazy. I actually do want to get into the game. I am, uh, I think we are I feel like we're at the tail end of Rimuldar. I feel like it. I feel like there's not a whole lot else that can be done here, so. And I pushed the wrong button. Off to an auspicious start, indeed. Miss the beavers? I'm playing Timberborn. I went through a period of, of just like two or three months ago where I was playing a ton of Timberborn uh, and really loving it. And my younger daughter got into it. And now she's playing it herself. And it turns out she's really good at it but watching her play it and be good at it made me want to play it again. So that's happening now. Having a real normal one tonight? My usual self playing old school Japan exclusive JRPG no one else has heard of. Perfect, perfection. The Beaver Lodge going, yes, yes indeed. Does Beaver speak with Canadian accents? They speak in like Simlish. Like, they're super cute. They're absolutely adorable. All right, so what are we doing? Kill me? Hmm. Probably not ideal. Um, I need to make a thing. I need to make a this thing. I need Hollyhock. That's right. Okay. I need Hollyhock. I think that was the only thing I was doing at the moment. An angry beavers mod for it. Um, so in Timberborn, there is it's okay. For those of you that don't know, Timberborn is a post-apocalyptic beaver colony building simulator. Um, humanity completely fucked over the planet, which I I know total science fiction, right? Who can imagine? Um, humanity causes a gigantic ecological disaster, wipe themselves out. Beavers survive the apocalypse and are now rebuilding society in their own image. But as a result of the stupid humans' uh, flailings and foibles, uh, there is polluted water that they have to deal with. A, a major element of Timberborn is, is managing water as your resource. There's like fluid dynamics in it, in it. You can dam rivers, you can build floodgates and sluices and pumps and all this other stuff. 
But there's also bad water. There's also um, contaminated water. And if the beavers get in the contaminated water, they basically turn into zombies. They turn into zombievers. And you have to cure them using uh, antidotes that you concoct. So that's cool. Okay. I think what we need to do, if I'm remembering correctly... Keys! Oh, Jesus. Keys. That's right. Keys. Keys, 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 keys. We're making keys. Are we making keys here or are we making keys there? I don't remember now. Keys. We need these. We got a bunch of liquid silver. Um... I don't actually know how many of these I'm going to need, so we'll make a bunch. Alright, somewhere... Okay, there are... I think we're going to run around and look for locked places. I remember there's at least one here. I don't know if there's one or two. Glad to see the gamer anger discourse circle back, back once again to localization. I thought for a second I might actually be for the original discussion. Yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, with um, Unicorn... I forget what it's called. Uni Unicorn something just came out, and by all accounts has excellent localization. Um, but the empty-headed knuckle draggers who are absolutely determined that everything must be a dry, direct machine translation are out in force again. So... If you don't know anything of this, good. Keep it that way. They don't deserve your attention. <laughs> I'm super happy to be back in here playing fan translate games. Been way too long since I looked at a random fan translation on a whim. I hope they're good ones at least. I thought, I think, I thought, I think, I thought. No, I think it's over here, actually. I really think there's one of those... I think there's one of those locked chambers in on every island. And one of them at least should have Hollyhock. That's where we fought that guy. Ah, there it is. I see it. It's on the horizon. Yeah, I worked out all the ins and outs of terraforming and the like in uh, in Timberborn. So I'm I'm no longer beholden to just the the random flows of water and whatnot. That's really when you know you've made it in that game. Seems pretty good so far. Not professional localizer. I don't feel like a great judge of things. Understand what's going on pretty okay, and it does a scan is super stiff. I mean, that's really all you need. Is that Yggdrasil essence? What the hell is this? Revives and restores you to full health upon death. Automatically used if held. Well, that's cool. I don't think that's exactly what I'm looking for, but... I guess since I'm over here, I should ch check and make sure there's not another one of those way out here. So yes, please, please, make your, make your itch.io bundle choices known. <clears throat> oh, just, just one, just one per person. Just one. Just one. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't be very fair if if I let people put as many games as they want on the on the wheel. <clears throat> now woods it. Don't worry, um I'll go back. The text to say multiple submissions are okay.
do what? What, what are you talking about? tired of things going wrong today. Christ almighty. Alright, hang on. Alright. That should do it. I cannot, like, I'm not gonna go into it, but I can't tell you how aggravating today has been. So. I'm not surprised that something else went wrong, but I'm so sick of it. I sort of, like, every time I try to do something... So, every time I try to set something up, like, some kind of, some kind of vote, some kind of nomination, there's, like, five different pieces of text that I need to change and all of them have different systems for like saving and confirming and I swear to god no matter what I do something always just doesn't get saved every single time and it is the most irritating thing in the world I don't normally I don't normally complain about this stuff so I feel like I've kind of earned it at this point. Like, I'm just really, really annoyed <laughs> at stuff not working. So, anyway. I'm gonna eat some fish and eggs. That'll make me feel better. All right, so that was that. I'll sleep so nothing bothers me. <laughs> I'm gonna get so mad at those ghosts when they show up. Okay. Hmm. Wife just stole something out of my room. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Sleep so nothing bothers me, yeah. <clears throat> okay, there was something here to unlock. Somewhere. Anxious about this job, so sleep is a nice wish. Sleep is like the one place where anxiety can't touch me. Like, I get, I get so exhausted that I can at least count on sleep to just, like, block out the rest of the world. So... My sympathies if that's, if, if that's not the case for any of you, but it is, like... The, the one place I can, I can be safe and secure. Sleeping a lot lately, not feeling so well. Can't believe I do that even myself. <laughs> At least, at least your, your, uh, brand of irritation has a certain charm to it. The stuff I had to deal with today was utterly charmless. Sun has been grumpy for a few days, huh? Mm. Okay, that was the puzzle room over there. And I think that, yeah, that random house is over here.
Is it? No, wait, what is this place? There is... all. Oh. oh, God, I haven't been here in a long time. I know where we are. Also, there is a treasure chest up on top of that place, and I want it. I bet you know I was gonna DQB and hit stuff with a hammer, yeah, definitely. What's that? I got a gold ring. What does it do? Increase max HP by 10. Neat. Neato completo. Okay, I need that's great, but I need something else. Yeah, yaha. Okay, so it wasn't up here. Okay. Probably off to the which direction is it? South. I bet it's to the south. Annoying because you wind up with a bunch of rings and you can only equip two. I remember I found I remember last time I found that formula for the ring that like makes you immune to all status effects. Hopefully I'll have the chance to make that. Hopefully. Yeah, right? You got ten fingers. Catholic, that's right. The Catholic ring. Ah, uh, this is what I should have used my Naviglobes for. I should have marked all those locked rooms with them. Instead of this place that I totally don't care about anymore. Non-modded Skyrim, you only get one ring. You get one ring? That's stupid. That's just stupid. How stupid is that? I think it might have been over here in the jungle. Maybe. Goodbye, you. Oh god, that's right. Oh Jesus. <clears throat> My male character whispering. <laughs> Yikes. Ray hates any all, any all trees and shrubberies. Well, great. That's just splendid. It wasn't over here. Grubby for whatever reason. I mean, like, you know... Bitrate is based on what changes from frame to frame in a given game, and in, like, a, a densely packed forest with lots of disparate colors like this is going to be changing a lot, so. I can't say I'm terribly surprised. It's so weird, like, having a four-day gap between sessions of this, because, like, there's all these things that I have very dim memories of, but I can't remember for sure where they actually were. Oh, I think it, oh, I see it. Okay, cool. I see it. Exactly where I thought it would be. Please out there, thank you, the makers of the game, for destroying the entire tree when, they, when you break the base. Yeah. 
Yep. That's one of those little teeny things about Minecraft that always annoyed me. Featherfall footwear. Oh, these are the... These are also accessories, aren't they? That increases crit, that increases attack. I just want to hit things really hard. And I've been pretty careful about falling damage, so I'm not going to worry about that. Ha! Ah. He says he takes falling damage. Typical. Oh, that Oddish always falling off of things. I can hear them. I can hear the little boings. I know they see me. I know they want me. They can't have me. Why do you need to choose? Why do you need to choose between boots and rings? That seems unnecessary. You must, you must find the hollyhock. Find the hollyhock. All right, we're getting there-ish. Miku's style is less is more. It's hard to argue with that. It's hard, hard to argue with some, some quality minimalism. Actually, I think I remember where it is now. I mean, I, I did want to do this. I did want to run around and, and open up all those random little places, but I think I actually remember now where it is I'm supposed to go. But we'll see. Y'all are gross and weird. Leave me alone. I think I already opened up. <laughs> Peach, I would never. Chat, I would never. I would. I would, I would be much more direct, like, hey, shut the fuck up. There, there would be, there would be no mistake, Chad. <laughs> Absolutely none. Okay, well, there's one over there, but I'm wondering... I'm a wondering. Clickety-clack. <laughs> I got a rock. <laughs> Magnificent. Nothing over there. Why is anyone leaving treasure cash days for me IRL? Dude, I think about that every time I play some RPG that has, like, just treasure, just laying around. Like, for one thing, why didn't anybody else open these? And for another thing, like, who left them out for us, you know? On potatoes. You know geocache? I've looked into geocaching. It's it's a neat idea, but yeah. It's more about the thrill of the hunt than anything else. What's up, Chaos? How you doing tonight? Good to see you.
Aha! Sign in for a bit before you head to bed. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, this is where I got the ring thing. Right? Yeah, that's right. Oops. Hi. Alright, had enough mountain. Mountain is over. How did you, Miku, how did you do that? It was amazing. Anyway. I want a better view. Oh, what the hell? Hey, look, I found a place. Pip, 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 all right, well, we'll do this. I got dragon scale. I got some braziers. I got the hollyhock. Cool. Hey, <laughs> a free dragon. <laughs> well, Jesus, that was exceptionally fortuitous. Definitely didn't take you like half an hour to realize I had to go up to reach the hollyhock. I mean, that was, it was totally random that I found this. I want, I wanted to come up here to get a better view of the surrounding area. And it just so happened that's where you need to go. So there. Ha. Huh. Um. <laughs> Goodbye. Eat the hollyhock. Just eat it. Just shove the whole thing in your face. Some monsters appear. I really don't care. Where did dude guy go? Where is he? I see you there. Alright, Chief. You found it, Miku! You found the hollyhock! Now that we have this, we can finally create the medicine that can cure my darling Ellie. Or can we? It would seem that one single hollyhock will not be enough to produce the medicine we need. If only there was some way to grow additional plants of a certain kind that we had been practicing for the past week. So please, Miku, is there really no solution to this problem? Think, Garantius, think. <gasps> Light bulb. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh God, there's horrible things under the bridge. <laughs> no solution, Grand Dot. Okay, game over. Hollyhock seed, the shining seed of a blessed blossom. We'll till it, we'll build it. Had an idea of you, young lady? Spit it out! Harumph, harumph, harumph! Grow? Things? Impossible! Say, Miku, that might, just might work. I should've known you'd be able to come with a plan. Simply need to retrieve the seeds from the hollyhock we already have and use it to grow new flowers. And then by using the farming techniques of the great sage Thalamus perfected, we can grow as many as we need. The great techniques of put in ground and wait. Quickly then, retrieve the hollyhock seeds and do the thing, and then do the other thing, and then give the thing to the lady, so she doesn't try to kill herself. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Where did the, the special flower go? The special flower, here it is. Come here, you. Okay, I think if I go ahead and do this now, it might be ready by the time I get up. No! One hollyhock yields two seeds. Incredible, chat. I, 
I'm kind of curious what the game would do if I just, like, ate these. <laughs> like, if I didn't plant them and instead just, like, I don't know, did something with them. Alright, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm sleeping here tonight. Wonder if you even can. It does seem like if you drop things, they never despawn. Theoretically, eat one without messing it up. I mean, I also don't know if they're edible. They might, they might just not be edible. Uh, speaking of edible, I am starving. I'm gonna eat french fries and potato salad until I'm happy again. <laughs> That's better. All right. Make more. Excellent. Eat french fries and potato salad until I'm happy. <laughs> Listen, chat, we've, we've all been there. We have all been there. Seed looks a bit like a mask. I think it looks to me like the seed has like runes on it. All right. And then Miku's going back to sleep. <laughs> Miku has unfortunately entered a cycle of depression. <laughs> she wakes up, eats french fries, plants flowers, and goes to bed. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chad. I didn't mean for it to come to this. I know it's getting kind of weird, but... Not enough sp oh god Christ, these things are huge, is the thing. I guess. Maybe? I don't know. Game, you're just being weird now. And back to bed. Ah, <laughs> uh, nothing like a good 23 and a half hours of rest. Nothing quite like it. I'll say, Ellie, I'm on it. I got it. I got this. Check it out now. We didn't craft that. We summoned it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You can please grant us request to cure the patient. What, what was that, Miku? You create a cure just for me? Oh my lamb, I was dreaming. I dreamt that I saw the Hades condor, that awful bird. Thanks to you, we've conquered so many sicknesses and saved so many people from the blight. If we can only slay the Hades condor in turn, we can clear the darkness from the sky and return the light to Rimuldar. Please, Miku, destroy that foul beast. It's the font of all the pain and misery in this land. Kill the shithawk. Oh, Miku, you've saved my Ellie. Thank you, I can't tell you how much this means to me. Miku, I, I was wrong. Wait, did, is he kneeling? Is he, did he take a knee? When Ilias took his research down the wrong path, I abandoned him, I forsook my own apprentice and left him to die. It reminds me of the side quest in Nier where you need pink flowers which means you need to actually hybridize flowers. That actually sounds kind of cool. I made excuses for myself. I lectured anyone who listened about the dignity of accepting death and all manner of philosophical sophistry. But in the end, I couldn't sit by and watch, I watch while my dear sweet granddaughter wasted away. Miku, I, I was a fool. It's okay, you're not the protagonist. What? Yes, I remember now. You said the same thing when we first met. That I was an idiot. <laughs> that I was a giant moron. That may be foolish to rebel against our fates. That is what makes us human. 
There is wisdom in your words, though seeing them spout from such a dopey face is really rather vexing. I really kind of love this running gag in, in the Dragon Quest Builders game where everybody's like, you look like a dipshit. <laughs> How is how is the hero of legend th this? By the time we wake up tomorrow morning, Ellie should be fully recovered. I think you've earned yourself a good night's sleep too. I could use some rest. It's true, Garantius. Thank you for caring about me. I sure could use some sleep. Or not. The world is a tremendous shaking. It can't be. Actually, I think it can be. Uh, I'm gonna eat this. Did I actually, I didn't end up, did I end up with any? I did, I ended up with more of these. Give me that. No, I said. Um. Nom, 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 nom. Um, nom, 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 delicious. Delicious, all right, well I'm gonna save. And then I guess we're gonna fight some dudes. As is our way. The monsters are coming! A vast host is descending upon the town! Cured some eight disease and even formulated a divine drop by which this land might be saved. Unfortunately, it looks like our hard work has ruffled the Hades Condor's feathers. The beast means to destroy our town and everything in it. Amiku, the battle for Rimuldar's heart and soul is finally at hand. Once we dispatch his underlings, we'll be free to face the Hades Condor itself. Incidentally, Miku, have you spoken with Ellie since she woke? She had a fit if she knew we were going to war without her. Uh, all right, fine. I'll sleep here. One more 23-hour nap couldn't hurt. Ellie, get your ass up. I apparently need to talk to you. Hello, Miku! Thank you. I'm, thanks to you, I'm fit as a fiddle again. I can only apologize for things I said to you when I first fell sick. I was a coward. You took me in your arms and laid me to rest in that bed in the sick room that we built together. I felt somehow fulfilled. Thank you, Miku. Thank you so much for saving me. All right, now let's fight the dude guy thing, man. Yes, vast horde descending. Dispatch things, incidentally. I I say let's let's go. Throw down we shall. Fight it out! Battle begins! That's a bird. Fuck that bird. Hello, sirs. <laughs> yep, I'm just gonna blender these guys. I think that'll be fine. When they say they increase your crit rate, they're not kidding. I don't think we're done yet, folks. Oh, what are the Bodkins doing out here? I like the Bodkins. Bodkins remind me so much of uh, Namekians from Dragon Ball. Okay. At this point, we can save these people, can't we? At this point, we technically have Divine Drought technology. I suppose they I suppose they'd zombie pop before we got close enough to use it on them though. You're the leader? They sent you? Seriously? Buddy, I'm so sorry. It was it was a valiant effort, but no. Oh good, and out herb. Different leader than you got. Interesting. Huzzah, young, well done. You done did it. Right, real quick. Oh, I can actually make this. This is defense 13 over two. <laughs> Hang on, let me turn let me turn some silver back into Sorry, do it. No, 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 you do it over at the table. Do 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 Maybe maybe the leaders are randomized. I 
I made splats. All right. Um, and God damn it. <laughs> if I'd only looked at this before I pushed that button. All right, well, I'm not letting that stop me. I'm going and getting more silver. I'm making that damn ring. Music to the enemies politely wait for you to be ready before they attack. Uh, two, that makes some sense. Since it's all a dream, yeah. Was it here? Where is our silver? Part of the mountain range? Seems so buffering for no discernible reason. Not just here everywhere. Yeah, that sounds super annoying. It is this island that has silver, right? I thought it was. Now I'm not sure. Anywhere. That's coal. I think I came down here. I mean, I obviously got a lot of silver from somewhere, but I don't remember where. Well, straight up, I don't think it was here, so... I am making that ring. Oh, I think I just saw gold, actually. I, I just saw gold by the waterline. Maybe, maybe the silver's on the second island. Also, good evening, nigger, it's up, I see you there. Yes, 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 it was here. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Also, I feel like I just kind of totally forgot to come back here. We're supposed to see me. If you don't see me, I'm sleeping. You're rest rested for work. Nobody believes that. We all know better. All right, I need 10 pieces of this crap. I think I've got like, three. I should pull them out. Four, I got four. Oh, I think skeletons drop them, too. Did I seriously just completely forget to come back and check this area? <laughs> I think I did. Although, I think 
I think I might have opened that earlier. Any chance this game has boats? I doubt it. I think if it had boats, we would have seen them by now. Yeah, I okay. So yeah, I already came to this one and opened that up. Uh, so I'm just gonna beat up skeletons until I get the silver I need. Excuse me. Don't mind me, sleeping here. Feel free to be gone in the morning. Hey, thank you very much. You're very kind. All right. No, I'm over here, dingus. Or no, it was, um... No, 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 the skeletons... I remember now, the skeletons had the rusty chunks, the mages had silver, I think. I think that's how it broke down. Not that they're gonna give it up now, apparently. All right, we're getting there. Gonna make this work. Please, please be four pieces of silver so I can go home. <laughs> please be four pieces of silver so I can call this done. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I can see visually four total pieces of silver. And there was an extra one. Okay, we're great, we're good. We're golden. Or silver. Take me home. Noom. Alright, I'm making a ring. I'm making a ring. You don't make rings here. You idiot, you moron, you simpleton, you stooge, you don't make rings there, you make rings... ...a uh, there. I have made the Catholicon! Incredible. Simply incredible. Um... Uh, I also want to... Jesus Christ, that's so many potatoes! It's an absurd embarrassment of potatoes and beans. Silver is also the thing you typically short on in No Man's Sky. Silver was always the thing I was short on in Subnautica. Gold was not an issue, like diamonds were not an issue. It was, it was always silver and lithium, I think were the things that I would constantly run out of. Uh, okay. Yes, hello, hi. All right, I don't have any fish. I'm not, I'm not going fishing. But I will make a bunch of salads and things. Super salad. <laughs> if I can give me lead, I don't need lead. Oh, I'm out of coal. That's okay, I can make 235 butter beans. Boiled butter beans, that is. All right, it's fine. We're good. Okay. Clean up inventory. Um, all right. Go away seeds, go away keys. I guess that stuff can stay. 
Uh, take out healing items. What is this? Oh, it's another, it's yet another accessory that adds defense. Amazing. And I think there was a sh sh Yes, the shield. I can make the shield. Because this would just be an extra four defense. This would be like a shit ton. Schwing. Made the silver shield. Equip it. Okay. Cool. And then just get it, just get out of my inventory. It's fine. All right. Let's save, let's do this. Cause I'm now I'm starving, Jesus Christ. Here, eat some beans. Just shove yourself full of beans. Uranium is also a bitch I was typically eaten in the scary areas. Uranium? I feel like uranium wasn't too bad. Present work to you certainly made short work of those monsters. Your task not over yet, even more of the Hades Condor's forces bear down upon us. I'll let you fight those blighters alone. Let's show them a thing or two together. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so wave two of the two waves begins. Big stupid bird. Dracolites. I somehow missed that they're called Dracolites. That's a pretty great name. Somebody stop them! Y'all probably shouldn't be down there. That's unwise. A 500 pound caterpillar, I'd be too scared to move. It's pretty messed up, isn't it? I mean, in some ways, more messed up than zombies. Like, caterpillars just weren't ever meant to be that big. And imposing. Haha, -ha, thank goodness. We murdered that sick person. Good stuff. That's a big ass caterpillar. Whee! We did it. These tablets make me tingly. Huzzah! got another fight. That's great, I'm tired. Bye. <laughs> I remember, I, I remember in the first area, like the final boss, the little fighty icon looks different. So apparently we just have another wave of these things. Hey, how do you fight one of the Turbo Calip pillars right after you pass the red portal? Yeah, you do, don't you? Another band of the Hades Condors underlings defeated. We need only hold out a little longer. Next assault may well be the last before it, it better be, Jesus. Trees! Evil trees! This sword is so mean. <laughs> Just blender these dudes. We did it, we win. Never mind. They have to make the tree so hot though, I know, right? I hope these trees don't awaken anything in me. Ooh. 
large Zambi. They give you wood. Well, they'd better. Otherwise, I'd be stumped. There it is. That's what I needed. All right. Good night. <laughs> Migos has developed a bad case of narcolepsy here. All right, old man. Well done, Miku. The Feathered Fiend's followers are no more. All that's left is the Hades Conduit itself. The root of the blight that grips our land in the darkness and shrouds it. Slay and the light will return. Remember, young one, the beast is known to fly through the air far to range of any sword or axe. Just use the ballistas. Your friends invent to shoot from the sky. Place the weapons high above the ground and unleash their full force the moment your enemy lets his guard down. Sure. Not alone. We'll fight by your side and slay the sickness spreading. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna fight it alone. Yeah, the game makes me do this, actually. Fear will only get in the way, I would defer to your judgment. Now go, Miku. Slay the Hades Condor and restore light to the land of Rimul Dar. Sure, why not? Yeah, it's really not my choice. These guys somehow, like, teleport us to the Shadow Realm. Burb. Is burb. Well, that's a burb. Calls for backup. All right, defeat the cronies. Cranky bird. Picked a really interesting place to stay, didn't you? Aw. Come, come down just a... Oh. <laughs> Shouldn't have built this here. I guess. First time I did this fight out of your ballistas at right side of town and the Balfour warp ate them. Oh, okay. I gotta shoot him over here somehow. Um, crap. Whoa, there. Up, oh, he left. Okay. So I guess he's gonna be back here. So I can maybe just like. I mean, I, I still have one of these. Oh, no, 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 no. That's terrible. Don't do that. Or maybe we can just like slap it on the side here, maybe? There we go, perfect. Perfectly arranged, as all things should be. It's okay, we didn't need any more anyway. Whoa there. Okay, anyway. All right, great. Chop, 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 chop. I guess it's gonna be like four cycles of this. Okay. Wait, who destroyed the sewing room? Oh, shit. Where is he? There he is.
Jesus Christ, what the hell? Oh, there's people in here. My God, dude. Ha ha! The bird is so rude. I hate this bird. Oh, hey guys. They're just hanging out. Wanted, wanted to take up sewing. No big deal. Oh, I gotta defeat his cronies. Or otherwise it won't count, apparently. Oh, shit! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Get on the ballista! Get it! No! Stop! Ow! Well. Hey there. Well, all I can say is the people of Rimuldar are gonna have a lot of cleaning up to do after this. God, I really thought that was gonna be four, like, four cycles. Give me whatever this is. Her first storm stone. It looks like bird poop. <laughs> do 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 I learned how to make the staff from- I know what that is! I know what that is. Yeah, alright, we are delivered! Miku the Hate Conduit is defeated! Praise be the goddess, truly she does watch over us all. Consider the impact on the ecosystem that killing the bird will have. Uh, yeah, everything will stop being poisoned. <laughs> Apparently that bird somehow is the source of all the blight in this entire region. Thank you, my lamb, thank you so very, very much. By the way, what's that curious crystal that you recovered from the condor? Do you think you could use your powers as a builder craft into something that can clear the darkness from our sky? Yeah. Yeah, I do, actually. Funny enough, I do. All right, all right, I'll fix your shit. Yep. Built me a teleportarium, all right. Yeah, you clean bird poop from a large bird. <clears throat> novel way to get there. I love- <laughs> I love that I set up my ballista just in the absolute opposite wrong direction. Uh, I need wood. <laughs> Do I have wood? Hey, they, they- oh, no, never mind. I thought they knocked down one of my trees, but I was wrong. I was mistaken. Wood! Oh my god. I can make exactly two pieces of wood. Why did you do way too much casual geographic uh, lately and know way too much about big birds? Casual geographic? Build it! I've 
done it! Alright, lady, look at this. Oh my! Good goddess above! I'm not mistaken, that's a legendary staff that can restore the light to the land. Miku, my lamb, take that staff to the banner of hope and offer to the heavens and let Rufus' blessing shine down upon us once more! Okay. Out of my way! Offering to the gods. I mean, no, not that. That. Casual Geographic guy just makes videos of random facts about animals and which ones can kill you and how. That's cool. I mean, not the part where they can kill you, but like the part that makes videos. So that's cool. My eyes! It's sprinkle on a giant super fun sight. Well, this is way nicer. The light returns to Rimuldar. Do 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 do. Miku, my child, you have done well. Rimuldar has been freed from the Dragon Lord's evil influence, since people are now free to cleanse this land of the poisons that's polluted it. Until kids, this is the fire festival. <laughs> However, your duty is not over yet. There are others who still suffer under the Dragon Lord's rule and await your succor. Praise be to the goddess! Look, Miku, the heavens are so... so bright! So bright you'll need shades, lady. That night, the people of Rimildar hold a modest banquet to celebrate Miku's victory and their freedom from the Dragon Lord's curse. Though the jubilant villagers enjoy the festivities, the thought of the friends they lost the blight weighs heavily upon them all. Everyone at the feast secretly steals themselves to the thought of the many afflicted still suffering throughout the land in need of help. I mean, I didn't see anybody else. At least, nobody that I didn't murder before they turned into zombies. Then morning comes. With its cute little jingle. Miku, you've finally awoken! Apparently I just fell asleep standing here talking to you. Oh my, don't, you don't look well at all, my poor little lamb. I think you may have had a little bit too much fun last night. <laughs> After spending all our lives with that darkness hanging over us, I think that's the first time any of us have ever laughed so hard. But still, my grandfather, Garantius, seemed ever so remorseful last night. He seemed to want to... Excuse me, do you have a fucking problem? No, I didn't think so. He seemed to want to apologize for anything and everything. Did something happen? Well, never mind. I think I know what might have made him have a change of heart. Tee hee hee. One more thing, Miku. I saw a most curious sight this morning. There's a great shaft of light rising from the hills to the north and piercing high into the heavens. I imagine that's the sort of thing that might interest you. Yes, I think I would like to take a look. We've done it, chat. We've saved Rimuldar from the clutches of a really big bird. Like, really big. Oh, I'm just gonna... Like, it's clean now, right? No, it's still poison! Huzzah! We've accomplished nothing, actually. By the way, Miku, I'm pregnant, and it's yours. Yes, I know you're a woman. Builder powers. <laughs> now that would be a plot twist. Well, land's still blighted. We've accomplished nothing. I'm out. See you later. Me, my child, the light you see before you is a portal. Yes, I know it is. Items, in yes, I know. Mommy, yes, I know. Miku, my child, should still be your will to rid this world of darkness. I bid you step in the swirling vortex without fear or regret. Be safe in the knowledge that I do watch over you always. Goodbye! I was like, they have to come and be like, wait! Miku, must you really leave us? I want to stop you more than anything, but I know that would be mere selfishness. The selfishness is a sin. I'm standing in a divine pillar of light. The nun knows this. The nun should get this. Nor would I wish to sour this moment by pleading with you to stay. For I know the role that you must play, my lamb. You are to rid Alephgard of the darkness that infects its very heart to cure it of the plague of shadow. None the wiser. Must you leave as you take a bunch of materials? They're just gonna vaporize. We can at least use your neat sword. Oh, I do beg your pardon. I'm being awfully poetic all of a sudden. Now remember you're dressed warmly, Miku. We can't have you catching a cold. Make sure you keep yourself well fed. Try to eat food that's healthy and nutritious. And remember to exercise too and uh... Oh yes, Miku may not be much, but I've got a little something for you. Please take this with you. I don't want you fighting all those horrible monsters without it. Farewell, my lamb. Take care of yourself wherever you go. 
Are we leaving? Shwoom. We've done it. Spent 43 days doing this. Still deathless. I got a bunch of items. You now build Cormans girdles in Terra Incognita. I did that. Oh good, I can build wooden furniture. I fixed the roof. The crown ghouls. Interesting. You now build meteorite bracers. Oh, that's cool. Neat, 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 neat. Cole and Galenholm. The plains of northern Alfgard were the twin towns once nestled in a sea of greenery. So I guess... I guess... Yes, 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 I know. Yes, I get it. Yes, I know. I mean, just based on this menu, we're halfway there. Seems like this game is four chapters, so... Well, let's do it! Waste no time! Let us begin. The bleak and burning badlands. Oh, that's, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty bad. That's really bad, in fact. That guy is huge. Did you have fun managing one town of ingrates? Give him do a try. Noom. Miku, my child, you finally woke in the land you see before you was once known as Coal. Long, long ago, Coal was a bright, bustling village nestled in the heart of a lush green forest. Now it is a barren wasteland under the iron grip of the monsters. Those of my children who have escaped the fiend's clutches live their lives in fear and despair. Too bad you don't tell a frag a monster arrival. That'd be rad. That'd be great. Here, have a thing. Have a stick with a rag on it. Take your banner of hope in hand and seek the source of the light you see before you let my children know that their salvation is at hand. Okay, what's this? Oh, Ellie gave me a bunch of cures. How nice. Pip pat 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 pip pat. This place looks like shit. Well, here we go. A warm and soothing light spreads all around in an extremely square pattern. Miku, my child, by your untiring efforts, the lands of Cantlin and Rimuldar have arisen once more. The people of Cole have taken strength from your example and have already begun to fight back against the Dragon Lord's minions. However, I fear that the rebellion and their spirits are close to being crushed by the monster's overwhelming might. Go, my child, and bring back the light to this benighted land. Use your powers to rebuild this town and spare my poor children with the monster's onslaught. As you set out in the wilderness, know that I do watch over you always. <gasps> hey! It's the big muscly mans. Hello, sir. Hello, hello, hello! What's going on here, then? Where'd this flag come from? I'm not gonna do the accent. I'm sorry. Nobody would want that. More importantly, the blue neck are you! What are you doing in our secret base? I'm the builder. It's my base now. Suck it. Legendary Billiter, and you're here to save us all! Yeah, you're having a laugh, ain't you? What's a builder when it's at home? Face it, Titch! You ain't got no legendary nothing! You don't got the face for it, so stop chatting nonsense, will you? Oh, blimey! What a day this is turning out to be. First the monsters beat me black and blue, and now some nutters decide to move into my secret hideout. <laughs> they knew your Not only that, she's gonna plant a big stupid flag slap bang in the middle. Barbella, where are you? Don't leave me alone with this loony. Well, what are you still hanging around for? Get yourself gone. Take that stupid flag with you. Oh, sorry, I ain't introduced myself yet, have I? The name's Glutimus. Now get out. Someone calls Miko Potato, no nut. What's that twerp doing here? Experimental weapon test site. You don't say. Hold up. Passive Tantagel, Volume 3. Yeah, I'd like to read it. Located far to the north of Cantlin is the village of Cole, from whence I pen this entry. 
The settlement was once surrounded by a lush and verdant forest, but those days are long gone. Lakes of liquid lava have sprung forth from deep within the earth and threatened to overwhelm the area at any moment. There is a whole fortification over there. So I'm going to temple off to that side. Volcanic forces have fueled this hot baths upon which Cole's fortunes did once depend now threaten its very existence. No doubt, the Dragon Lord is behind these calamitous eruptions using his subtle crafts to turn the Earth itself against mankind. Oh, I know where we are. Yeah, I, I remember. Though the light hath been snatched from the skies and the world plunged into the depths of despair, the people of coal still have hope. It's all due to the public baths whose restorative influence keeps the people's spirits afloat in these perilous times. Alas, the far-famed purveyors of Puff Puff have long since departed this place. <laughs> I can only pray their art, which once drew pleasure seekers to call from all over Olive Guard, has not been lost to the ages. Sir Reginald Augustus Grain is Cantlin Brigade of Guards! Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I guess if you look straight up, it's really dark. But off towards the horizon, it's, it's always seems brighter. I want to read this one. Pages of the book are covered in closely packed writing and scientific diagrams. It seems like some kind of inventor's instruction manual just looking at makes Miku's head hurt. She gently closes the book. Hmm. Interesting place. Flame and Nora, I thought I told you to make yourself scarce? What the heck are you still hanging around here for? Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Hold on, you ain't trying to tell me you like me, are you? No, I'm definitely not. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Chat of luck. You have to have a bit more meat on you than that to catch my eye. And anyway, there ain't no place in my art frame but, but, but Barbella. So if you can't tear yourself away from me, I suppose you can stick around, but with one condition. Is that building in the corner? The pile of shit, really. It used to be a level of lot spring until those horrible monsters smashed up and filled it in. Fix up them baths for me and I'll let you stay, all right? I mean, I think I can do that. I got a hot water crystal. Interesting. It just occurred to me, I never figured out what that blue block in uh, Rimuldar was. I don't know, do you need this? Maybe, maybe they need this. Hmm, okay. we go. Public baths. Ahoy hoy. Lovely jub- Ah, I missed that. Lovely jubbly indeed. Strike a light. You've only gone and done it. The baths are back. There's nothing cements a friendship better than a dip in the tub. You strip down to your smalls, get all hot and steamy, and before you know it, that's that? You ain't interested in getting hot and steamy with me. You're more interested in using your special building powers to fix up this town and clear away the darkness. <laughs> special building powers. Everyone and his uncle knows how to build things. Honestly, Titch, how old are you? I've never heard anything so dozy in all my life. Not really. Let's see you build something. Anyway, thanks for clearing up the baths and welcome to Cole. You're part of the family now. Hey, thanks for the sticks. Is your favorite part of the game? It's pretty cute so far. Hey, Titch, you ain't told me your name yet. You got one or what? Miku, eh? <laughs> your name's as beefy as you are. I mean, that's fair. Amigo, you reckon you're some sort of master builder, do you? No <laughs> whacking with it. 
Never really just met, but I lost my mates and my princess, and I was worn out as a pair of old boxers after an hundred lunges. Will you do me? That's horrifying to think about. Truly repugnant. They make these baths you picked up even better. It's the only thing that'll make me feel old again. Eh, shouldn't I be more worried about my missing mates in the state of my bathroom? No, I blinking well shouldn't. Don't you talk back to me with your dopey face and your intelligent argument. <laughs> I like big meatheads and when characters start yelling about bonding in the sonnet. This guy's great. This guy's really funny. Anyway, what we'll need is a couple of wash tubs and oh, I reckon three towel rails should do the trick. God, this reminds me so much of Crumble Done. In two. I mean, what's a towel rail? It's one of the thingies, you know? You make them out of... Just use your imagination, will you? Aha. I've done it! A wall-mounted rail with a towel attached. Alright. Um, where's our... What the hell is this? Miner's Refiner. This is different. Okay, we need cord. We need fur. Unsurprising. Cord... Okay, cord's gonna be over here. Pip pat pip pat pip pat pip pat pip pat Fur is gonna be over here. Ow! Or not. Petals, sand grass. Sticks. Gloop. My time at sand grass. I am intensely curious what this is. No humans allowed! Thou shalt not clank pass. Yeah, we ain't defeating nothing. He's fine, leave him. All right, they're made of healing herbs and meat. I was really hoping they'd also be made of fur. But apparently not. Moving on. Ooh, there's something up there. Made out of meat! Okay, this is where we're gonna leave from eventually. Right, hammer hoods. How could I forget? I got your sack. I got your sack. Harvesting their back hair. What an appetizing thought that is. All right, anyway. Got me a bunch of cord. Give me two of these. Two of these? I already forgot.
Get them towel rails built. Let's put them on actual wall. How many did you want? Two wash tubs, three towel rails. Obviously. Two just won't cut it. We need one for him, one for me, and one for, you know. Miku builds her first coal public baths, specifically. Buddy, where do you, whoa, okay, hi. Gore blimey, now that's what I call a bath. You might be a scrawny little pipsqueak, Miku, but stone me if you don't got taste. Guest towels that no one's allowed to use. Yes, everybody has one of those. One towel for the face, one for the body, one for the leathery sack. <laughs> baths ain't ordinary baths, you know, they're the symbol of our eye out of coal. If Barbelli and the boys saw him in that state, it'd break their poor little arts. That's why I got you to fix him up for me. See, told you I had a good reason, didn't I? All right, all right, keep your air on. If you're that desperate to know what's going on here, I'll tell you about it. Before he rocked up with that funny flag, you as a town with a secret base of Barbella's irregulars. We used it to fight back against the Dragon Lord's army. And then just before he arrived, the monsters stormed the place and smashed it to pieces. Me and the boys got split up, and Barbella got taken away by the monsters. I was laying low around here when I saw this funny light shine about the place, so I came back to see what was going on, and that, as they say, is that. Anyway, thanks for sorting out the baths, Miku. A nice, so nice hot soaks, just what I need to get myself back in fighting form. Warm up my aching muscles. Think of a way to rescue my mates and get this place back on its feet again. Have a dip yourself, why don't you? If you're gonna be building a guy, look after your body. Thanks for the flower bits. Oh god, we're gonna, we got a fight? Core blimey, love a duck and stone. The crows run some seriously hot water here. They ain't talking about the baths, neither. The monsters are coming. The monsters is coming. How long it take per chapter, anyway? It's about three nights per chapter. Roughly. So it's not nearly as long a game as the second one is. <clears throat> what do you mean they don't usually come this soon? The second one is, is more chapters, and each chapter is longer. Game time? Well, three nights per would translate to like eight or nine hours each. <clears throat> Nothing usual about them. Monsters around these parts don't do things by, uh, by abs. The minute you let your guard down, they're on you like a rash. Leave them to you? Miku, you're just a skinny little shrimp. Are you sure about this? Yeah, let's, let's do it. Or blimey, you ain't have brave for bag of bones. I'll never forget you. Some whole games are shorter, yeah. I mean, it's still a nice big game. Certainly. I mean, is it these guys? Okay, it's these guys over here, cool. You stay the fuck away from that. Oi, 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 oi. Oi! Oh, Christ. Hi. Bring on there, Chief. See what he has to say about this. Give me that seed of life. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna devour it. Excellent. Alright, what'd you think of that, Chief? Gordon Bennett with bells on. Miku, that was flipping fantastic. You only went and wiped the floor with all of them horrible monsters. You know what, mate? I think that might be... You might be that legendary bodybuilder after all. You could do it being a little less bony. 
Eh, you ain't the bodybuilder, you're just the builder. Not right, all right, don't get your knickers in a twist. So you're the builder, are you? Does that mean you're gonna stick around and help us build up our base again? Help us fight back against the monsters? Oh, thank you, Miku. Truth is, I was so lonely on all on my own. Didn't know what I was gonna do. But now you're here, we can get cracking. First things first, the monsters put a barricade off to the south to cut this base off from the rest of the island. As long as that gate's still standing, we'll never be able to get Barbell and the boys back here in one piece. Now open that path up to the south again, that barricade's gotta go. So you come in, Miko, I want you to go down there, smash up the gate, and give the wrong in garden and a taste of his own medicine. Okay. Can we do it in the morning? Um... Excellent, I got a monster egg. I can make- oh, I can make a coddled egg now. How about that? Um, all right, I need... I'll go ahead and build me... Two of these. I can make a stone sword. That's nice. Uh, I'll go ahead and make me one of these. Make a door just in case. Uh, what the hell was that? Let me go ahead and block this off. All right, we got one empty room. I think we can just sleep back here. We got, we got us a basic bedroom. Hang the sack on the wall. There's a little fire back here to keep warm. All right, perfect, great, love it. Okay, good night, done here. I think I can make some... yes. Make me a little healing creams. What do we need for... We gotta get to wood. Once, once we unlock the secrets of wood technology, I can get the Colossal Coffer, and life will be good again. Why, the gate is open now! Alas, nobody has wood for Miku. Fie upon the human! Hello, sir. Selling these fine leather jackets. Alright, let's go inform dude guy that I am successful. Little scorpion claws reaching the gates were cute, like a little kid asking for uppies. You sequence broke past this guy? That's funny. Core blind me with a plumberry on top. You only gone and blown the blooming barricade down. I sure did. And you can do it, mate. You might be a skinny little sausage, but you break down barriers like a champ. Is it Miku? The fight back's begun! There's two things we gotta take care of before we can really start showing the monsters who's boss. First, we gotta round up all the lads again and bring them back to our base. Then we gotta go and spring Barbella out of the monsters lockup. Since we've got the gang back together, it'll be time to take on the mag... Magmalus? Magmalus? Big boss of the monsters, who got the whole coal under his thumb. Take all the flame fingers out and we'll have won the war. 
Monsters around these parts are as tough as old pair of pants, but with your help, I reckon we can knock some sense into them. Might only be a twiggy little thing with biceps like knotted string, but I'm counting on you. Magma lice, magma. I think it's supposed to be like, yeah. I think it's a mashup of magma and malice. Which is a bit of a stretch. All right, Miku, now we punched it all in that barricade. We can get on with the next part of the plan. Hey, fancy heading down into monster infested territory and rescue my mates. Picked up a distress signal on my. <laughs> I picked up a distress signal on my pecs. The lads are somewhere south of the barrier and they're in a bit of a bother. I mean, just them worried about reading and need all the help we can get to spring Barbell out of the nick. It's about time we got all the boys back together and show those monsters who they're messing with. Okay, let's go save the lads. Friends are so important to me, I should come with you. Yeah, they can't. I'm waiting for the hideout for five minutes, I break out in a rash. No joke or lie. I, I have not being at secret base disease. <laughs> Love to come with you. Really, I would. You'll have to take care of this one on your own. What are you glaring at me like that for? It's the truth. I ain't scared of the monsters. Is that what you're thinking? Look, we ain't got time for this. Just get yourself to that barricade and bring back my mates. Yeah, I can do that. You big goober. That's a giant bug. Then it might be magma lice. You know, you never, you never know the Dragon Quest games. You really never know what direction they might go. All right, no humans, no comma humans. Ah, uh, the great outdoor. That is a really tall cactus. I am going to check out that cactus. Uh, is this a good idea? Oh yeah, this is fine. One thing that's kind of interesting about this game, you can't really tell if you're a match for an enemy just by appearances. Something huge and shiny and imposing might be really, really easy to kill. Oh, this is interesting. Well, yes, I do believe I will take some track. This could be fun. Oh my god, it's a late ND alert, chat. I remember the joke I posted about my spine. I put it in check about a week back. <laughs> Hi, Andy. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Can I break these? I can. Now, I'm a little afeard that I'm going to run out of space in my inventory. Yeah, Amigo's bag is full. Okay. Well, fortunately, nothing ever disappears in this game, so. Shackles! I wants them. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Perfect. <coughs> now we can, now we can make that bathhouse the way it's meant to be. She's a paper covered in large, untidy handwriting. Mika tries to make out the words. I don't know how, but I'm still alive. I tried to limp back to the hideout, but the monsters have blocked off the pass. I've got a garden. I don't got the strength to make it over the mountains. I'm gonna head back to the mine, hold myself up, and try to come up with a plan. Note ends there. Written quite quickly. Okay. 
So this is very crumble dunny, as it turns out. Miku's getting kinky again, finally. They're not funny, Snoopy's brother is typically seen with uh, Cigarro Cactus. Cigarros are exclusive to Arizona. And Spike lives in California. Aha! So, huh, what the hell are you doing down there? Jesus Christ, man. Did I go under him? Oh, hey, here we go. Ah, uh, that's no good. Oh, these stupid breaking blocks, I hate them. Can't speak, throat too dry. Give me something, a prickly peach. Okay, sure. Good thing I grabbed one on the way. Broop. Back in action, wow, that's it. That hit the spot. I don't know who you are, mate, or where you come from, but you've done me a power of good. I'm just so mad you shoved a cactus in your duffel bag. Game a cropper fighting the monsters. Thought I'd hold myself up here until I got my strength back and scurry back to the hideout with my tail between my legs. Problem was the monsters built some kind of barricade blocking off the pass. I came back here and racked my brains trying to come up with a plan of how I was gonna get back to coal until my food ran out, that is. What's your story then, mate? You trying to hide from the monsters? You serious? Glutamus got you to break through the barricade and come and rescue me. Can't believe it. How would a stick insect like you do all that? Leave the explanation till later, huh? We can have a good old chin wag when we're back in coal. All right, Burly. Stay close. I don't want you falling down any pitfalls. I don't want to fall down any pitfalls. Well, Christ. I don't want to deal with that. People don't appreciate enough. Kill them. Kill them all. <laughs> Run, buddy! Don't look back. Feel, uh, don't aff feel good. It don't aff feel good to be back in coal. Some of some of their slang I don't understand. Straight up. And the bass looking better than ever. Did you do all that? You're something else. You know, we've never been able to make uh, make him look as smart as all that. Hold on, ain't you that legendary bodybuilder Barbella was going about? Surely not. After all, it ain't like you got much of a body to write home about. Fuck off, Burly. Anyway, thanks for saving my skin. If you need any help building up that body, or to say the word to make a bodybuilder of you yet. I'm like, fuck you! Well, forget the body bit, you're just a builder. Ah, don't be so modest, mate. You might be a bag of bones right now, I'll get you into shape. And I'll train you myself. Ten days with me and I'll have a six pack and scrub your smalls on. Get up. Butter my buns and call me a crup at Burley's back. Got all, we all got split up when the monsters came and smashed up coal. 
We can get the gang together again. We can take the fight back to the monsters. As soon as the boys are back in action, we track down where the monster taking Barbella. We can bust her out of there. If anyone knows those blighters taking Barbella and her other mate, Burley will. Don't give up, Barbella. I'm coming for you. Who's Barbella? Who ain't she more like? Leader of our gang, the woman of our dreams, the queen of our hearts. Her mother, our lover, our sister, and her friend. Okay, okay. It's a lot to unpack. It's our one and only oak. Now the monster's got the rotten, dirty mitts on her. We gotta get her back. It's the last thing we do. Miku, will you do me a favor? When the time comes to break Barbella, the clink, will you come with us? I tell you something, Miku. Just between you and me. Barbella looks a nice hot bath better than anyone. So when we break her out of that cold, stinking prison, she's gonna want to get clean. All over. If you know what I mean. I'll say no more, but that ain't enough to convince you to help. I don't know what it is. Oh, friendo. Um, where'd that go? Oh, it just fell on the floor. Well, that's unfortunate. All right. Um, all right, I need to sleep. And in the morning, we'll build a chest or something. Because this is getting unmanageable. <laughs> All right, here, here's what we'll do. We'll place a stool. There we go. Now I've got space to build a chest, which I will not do because I don't have broken branches. God damn it. Like I was saying, we'll build a chest. put our junks in it. What's involved in making a colossal coffer? Wood, fur, pot. That is what we need. What is this anyway? L's Cure Healing Cream Make, especially by L, restores 30 HP. Nice. Actually, we'll hang on to that. That will be useful. Okay, so first things first. I want to straighten up. I think this is a good time to make this... Go ahead and make this place a little more acceptable. Yes. The miner's refinery is no more. Such is life. In the game, I thought items couldn't go with you between items. Only, only if they're given with, with true love and affection. All right, I'm sure they got that. I'm busy building. There we go. Much better. And actually, we're gonna go a little bit, we're gonna go a little bit further than this. And I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make this room particularly festive. <laughs> Extra 150 points for that. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Um, I need, I needest another, well, I need this. Certainly. I need a... Where was it? I need another stick. God damn it. grab as many as we can.
Because I don't know when they're gonna gift my give me more sticks for my hard work. I better take it while I can. Alright. Yeah, I'm so hungry. Uh ba, 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 ba. Mm. Why do I make a start? No, stupid. Well, I guess we do need another mattress. There's another person living here now. Um, do I have anything to eat? Miner's refinery is no more. Miner's refinery is again. And basic bedroom is again. And then... Not a great place for him, but I'll take it. And then I guess we can stack these over here or something. Alright. So, Barbella's not back yet, then. I, sh I sh never got my hopes up. Last time I saw her, she's being carried out by the monsters. She looked a in a bit of a bad way. Where the rotters have taken her, we gotta get in there and break her out sharpish. I think it's gonna take more brawn than we got to get her out in one piece. That's where you come in, Miku. You know, people say you are what you eat. Well, how about making me a massive protein-packed meal to bulk me up a bit? I don't know to mention it, but I'm vegetarian. You don't want to know how much grass I gotta eat just to keep myself in shape. If I believe in you, Miku, I know you can cook me a meal that'll make my biceps bulge. When I first met you in the mine, you picked me out the juiciest prickly peach I ever tasted. Let me see what you can do with the rest of the cactus. Cactus dinner. Cactus steak. Okay, we can do that. Wow, that's huge, actually. Uh, okay. That boo. <laughs> All right. Um. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I just need a bonfire. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Swing. All right, and then... Yeah, maybe we'll just put the cookhouse right over here. First bit of broken brick work. Oh god. Alright, fine, I'll put it down first. Coal. Okay. Well, we need coal. But once we get coal, we'll have all cactus steaks we need. Up all these manacles. Really, really curious about that. Hmm. Manacles made from the grabby claws. I mean, it must be, right?
Here we go. Um. Oh, I see some coal. Okay. Clodstone. Ruby, standstone, all that good stuff. I'm sure all that junk will serve me well. I felt my inventory. Oh, not even. Excellent. Minerals here. Holy shit, that's a lot of coal. Okay, that is a crazy tall cactus. That is like the tallest cactus I've ever seen. I know Miku, it'll be fine. Ah, oh, shit, I hate it when they do this. Hey, no! Nah. All right, what, what'd it say? Seven north, 33 east. Oh God, it's a puzzle. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe? Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 8. Ah, shit. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. All right, fine, Jesus, I get the point. If you insist. steak he wanted. Maybe the cactus steak I wanted. Excellent. Perfect. Good. Shut up. Going to sleep. Hey, guess what? That's why I call a steak. Personal space. Hand it over. Yes. 40% is not bad. I mean, 40% for like, what's pretty much the first cooked food you make in an area is way better than the previous areas, so. Feel my biceps getting bigger already. Those monsters would kidnap Barbella won't know what hit them. And they kidnap her in the first place. I don't know, really. If they caught her, they were trying to get her to tell her about something. Barbella wasn't having any of it. She got a tight lip, that one. She wouldn't talk. The monsters got proper miffed and took her away with them. Goddess only knows what they're trying to get her to say. Thanks for the steak! So I got this down me off all the strength I need to get in the monster's lair and bring back Barbella. Well, good. Well, good. Okay, another fight coming up. Um, uh, okay, I wanna, I wanna make this.
Did I? I don't know. Wait, no, I think I did make another door. Or not. Sconce is a lovely word. Sconce is one of my favorite words. It's a very entertaining word, indeed. I should put this way, too. Now, I'm absolutely sure that I'm going to do this. Woo! And then they're immediately going to be like, hey, build us a cook room. I'm going to be like, you son of a bitch. Crude kitchen made. Um, meats. Delicious meats. Bunnicorn steak. God love it. You know what? Yes, make one of these. Or a bunch of these, as it turns out. It's beautiful. I love it. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, somebody say fighty time. Hot water again just got a whole lot hotter. This ain't no time to be stuffing your face with cactus. The monsters got a whiff of your own cooking and they're coming to take a bite. What's that? I don't even know the monsters are coming before they get here. Oh, blimey, ain't it obvious? The arrows on my pecs are standing <laughs> okay. Say yes, that'll be a signal attack. Yeah, I was rumble. Oh, my poor stomach. Wish I could help you. I have this terrible tummy ache. This be something I ate. I reckon I'm gonna have to sit this one out, yeah. Something tells me I'm terribly surprised. You weren't out early tonight? been a long week and it's only Monday, so yeah. I feel you. Well, at least that other guy helps. Like a scorpion horn. Ow. Captain's like, what a week, and the kid's like, it's only Monday. Yeah, that was a Tintin meme, I think. Cooped what I lost and then some. All right, save. Yes, I do. Get in! <laughs> Let's fucking go! Thanks for fighting off the monsters, Miku. You really showed him his boss. Oh, the Tintin -tin game is angered. Oh, that's a good question. That is a good question. I don't know. Why didn't I help you? We weren't scared or nothing. I had a tummy ache. Can't expect me to fight with a tummy ache. Anyway, you must be tired from all that fighting. I know you want to get Barbella back as much as I do. If you don't get a good night's sleep every once in a while, you waste away. Why don't you take a break from fighting and build me a bedroom? A couple straw mattresses and something to light up will do just fine. I did, didn't I? I mean, we only two beds with more than two of us. So, don't worry about it. Just build this bedroom. What a bedroom! Thanks a million! Well, your muscles are just like cooking a steak. After you give them a good grill, griddling, you gotta let them rest if you want to get them nice and juicy. Or Belle will kill me if she sees me like this. I get some sleep and pump up my pecs. <laughs> I was like, we flip it well, did it. So you reckon Barbella sounds a bit scary. Might be right there. She ain't the sort of woman you want to get on the wrong side of. 
Deep down, she's the sweetest flower you could ever want to meet. Time was, it was all fighting against the monsters on her own. It was every man for himself. Till the day Barbella showed up, she brought us all together and got us organized. Without her around to keep us in the line, we don't stand a chance. We gotta get her back if it's the last thing we do. And here you go, Miku. This is for you. My way of saying thanks for fighting off the monsters. It's your bed. I made it myself. Told us not to worry about making an extra, didn't I? Happy now, ain't you? From now on, you have my friendly feelings warming your back ever so. Okay, that's great. That's cool. That's great. All right, now what do you want? It's an emergency. I was dilly dallying about building that bedroom. Burley remembered something. You remember where the monsters took her other mate? Apparently, you saw the horrible things dragging them off to a little fortress they built off to the southwest. Or I take Burley with you. Okay. You mean, what do I mean, take Burley with you? Think of me, I want you and Burley go down that fortress together and bust out our mate. You ain't telling me you never headed out of town with one of your friends before, have you? you? Got a mate with you, you can watch each other's backs. Take on the strongest monsters without batting an eyelid. Don't get too cocky, that fortress is as well built as I am. When I get inside, you're gonna have to go through the front door. No doubt the monsters have our mate pretty well guarded. If I was you, I'd equip the best gear I could find before I went down there, I'd take play in medicine too. Burley, Burley's already kitted out and raring to go when you're ready to head down. Say her mate, give him a shout. All right, that was pretty straightforward. Um, if I could, I just need some more stone. And I can make copper ingots, and then I can make this. Hold, please. Not from there. Miss the ability to give gear to our villagers. That was a really nice feature too. Being able to kit them out with the the stuff you didn't need anymore. That was very nice. Nothing truer than blue goo. Took a little time to make a smack load of cactus states and then never ran out. Yeah, sensible thing to do. Given how filling they are. The way this is supposed to go. I bet you're supposed to put the forge back here, but ah well. Yeah, it's huge. Um. All right, remodeling time. At sand. Blue flagstone. Oh, cool. Where I got flooring kits. Let's 
It's a very therapeutic game, Chef. Honestly, just the sound of things going into your inventory is so incredibly satisfying. That's maybe my favorite part. Keep your pants on, I got this. We'll be fine. Okay, I can't I can't rightly move that, so maybe we'll just Maybe we'll leave that like that and smack this just down like over yonder. It's not the prettiest thing I've ever made, but it'll be fine. There we go. Minor Smithy, perfect. Okay. Excellent. Not to wood yet. All right, excellent. Good, great, and wonderful. Do something about the sand at some point. Right, I keep the forge running or trooper to muscles. That should be fine. That should be fine. Power of muscle mystery. <laughs> Come with me. Talk to Blues, Ms. Red. Come on, let's buddy up and go bash some baddies together. I know we know each other long. We don't wear all shouldn't say the ropes. Yeah, let's make our move. All right. Early and burly. I hope he can keep up. Oh, he's not wearing his rags anymore. He's got his guns out at last. That concerned me a bit when I first met them. I was like, they just don't look right. NPC fighters do seem pretty effective. Well, that land over there looks absolutely lovely. It's 
aggressive too. Maybe he's a decent climber. Uh, nothing exciting. Well, I do see another fortress over there. Yeah, big chungus dude over there. Bunch of stuff over there that we're gonna get to eventually. All right, oh, that's fine. Came, cave I came out of earlier? Maybe. Grateful the NPCs are good at pathfinding. Yeah, I don't feel like I have to worry so much about leading them around. It seems to stick to me pretty well. Like, I'm pretty sure if I just if I just hauled off and and kept going, he would have followed. The guardians of the fort appear. Oh, there's a wizardy dude. Interloper. I've been called an interloper in some time. Ah, cloth. I need that. Miku conquers the fort. Yes. Give me that. Get a key. Use a key. Hello, sir. Oh, well, you're here to rescue me. Glutamus sent you. Nice to see a friendly phase. He was a bit funny looking. I'm Maxi, who are you? Seriously? You're the legendary builder everyone's going on about. Cool. I never would have thought, I never thunk it from the looks of you. Anybody can tell me all about once we're back at the hideout. Let's get out of here. Um, actually, before I do this, I'm a little curious. I think it's cool have you have you fight one slime. It attracts all the other ones. They get so mad about you beating up their friends. Mm, interesting. Does this... Oh, that doesn't hurt. Well, that's shocking. Hold, please. I got an entire pile of dragon bones. Lucky me. guys don't fall down there oh uh hmm you know what uh, no you know what no because one of those guys gets knocked out i don't have to carry him around <sighs> 
Thanks, mate. Thanks a million, mate. I never would've got back here in one piece if it weren't for you. You've done a lovely job in them baths and all. <laughs> Always about the baths. Glutamus or Burly tried to fix them up, they would made right pig's ear of it. Ain't no doubt about it. You're the builder, all right. Heard all about you, the way you built Cantlin back up and got Rimuldar on the mend. Word travels fast, apparently. Not only that, but you pulled all the people of Alfgard up by their bootstraps and got them building again. It's nice to finally meet someone who knows how to build more than just your body. <laughs> Since Barbella's back, we'll be able to get rid of that mag Magmalus? Mag I'm gonna go with Magmalus. Get Cole back to the way it was. Talking to Barbella, I think I know where the monsters might have taken her. Before we go into that, I reckon I'll take a quick dip. I'm as sticky as a she slime in a sauna. Gross. Gross. Blimey O'Reilly. Am I seeing things? I'm only Maxi. Thanks for busting out of the clink, Miku. Maxi might talk like a bit of a lemon, but no, uh, knows his onions. If there's anything you want to know, he's the one to ask. Chip, taking Burly wrong with you in the end? When it comes to fighting monsters, there's only one thing more important than your muscles, and that's your friends. Give them a shout before you head out in the wilds, and they tag along, no questions asked. How'd you hear about that? We teleport here via magic portal. Yeah, there's not, you know, there's not a whole lot of, like, travelers or tourists or migrants left in the world anymore. How come I never tag along with you? How many times I can tell you? I can't. The minute I leave this hideout, I get a nosebleed. Honestly, it's like someone left a tap on. I'm not scared or anything, if that's what you're thinking. It'd be funny if, like, later in the chapter, we actually did manage to convince him to just come with us somewhere, and the moment he stepped off, he just fell over and died. Um... You know what I honestly really want to do? I want to fix up the bathhouse so it's not all dirt. Smacking the shit out of that towel. Oh, we changed! That's what it is. That's what they're doing. Jamiku, now boys back together. How about you taking your bodybuilding to the next level? Hold on, that ain't right. Bodybuilding's our job. It's the base building I want you to take care of. I said it was some sort of legendary. Is he gonna ask me to level it up? Can't get my head around most of it. Sounds like you're going around the world building everything is broken back up again. How's it about building up coal and all? I feel a tingle in my triceps. It's only a matter of time for the monster to attack again. Before they do, I want you to build coal in a proper fortress. Make this place bigger, better, and burlier than it's ever been before. Yeah, I did. Okay. Nice work! Basically looking better already. I don't know if it's just my imagination. You're looking a bit burlier yourself. Not sure if you had any beef on you to begin with. It's hard to believe a little pedal like you could be a legendary anything. Can't argue with the results. Kind of stuff you're building on a whole other level than anything I could come up with. Got me thinking. I don't know if you've seen them. The Magmalus what rules these parts got this army of dancing flames. The problem with those things is no matter how hard you bash them, it doesn't even leave a scratch. It's your super special building powers may make some kind of weapon what would. Truth is, Barbella's the only one of us what knows anything about building stuff. When she joined up with us, she was something of an inventor. Dreaming up all kinds of weapons to use against the monsters. We saw that sign that mentioned the weapon testing area. And the scientific journal. I bet if you and Barbella banged your heads together, you'd be able to come up with something amazing. Bangs what together? And win this war, we're gonna need Barbella's help, so we gotta get her back quick smart. Here's some meat. Alright, next one's a fight. Uh... Hum, 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 hum. Well, let's take a little nap. Take a little save. Fights seem to come much faster in this one. Thank you, Mika. I told you my triceps were tingling. The Dragon Lord's army will be here any minute. What's worse, they got a load of them annoying dancing flames with them. The weapons we got right now, we can't even touch them. You have to finish off the monster control them if you want to snuff them out. Okay. Oh, my poor head! What a time to get a migraine! <laughs> I 
He's so cute. I really wonder why they always start you with your back to the monsters. That does seem very odd to me. Don't you break my town, you son of a bitch. I'll kill you. Bro. This may take some time. Get him. Yeah, break the pile of dirt. I don't give a shit. Dancing flame. Oh, shit. Hi. Hello. So we can't hurt these. We just need the leader. There he is. This may take a minute. Ow. Guys, we can maybe get your attention over here. That'd be great. Fortunately, hitting the flame stuns them. Otherwise, I'm not sure how this would work. Kind of, sort of, sometimes. There we go, okay. Well, that was a bit of work. Oh, sorry you died, guys. <clears throat> yes, teleportal. There we go. Noom. We flippin' well did, we flippin' well did. Get in! Give them monsters a proper wall of it. Looks like they dropped some pretty important, might have to take a squiz. It's only a bloomin' teleportal, and you decided to go and get the stuff I want. We thought the monsters just drop what we needed, just when we need it. I knew there was good eggs. But anyway, Maxis remembered something the monster was saying when they had them strung up in that cell. They got Barbella locked up in their big black castle on the island across the sea. I'm gonna go and get her out of there as soon as I can, but it ain't gonna be easy as all that. The castle there is made out of even tougher stuff than that little fortress. Need a weapon made out of something stronger than wood if we want to get in. I want, to make you, want you to make some iron ingots. You won't find any iron around here. It's all in an old mine far, far away. If you step through that teleportal, maybe, just maybe. All right, we need ingots. Uh, Let's do a teleportarium over here. Do 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 do. Yes, I know it's amazing. So net and net and net.
Gonna need a door, gonna need some other stuff. Hey, y'all like dragon bones? <laughs> I like dragon bones. Dragon bones are cool. <laughs> Maybe not for the dragon, but I think they're neat. Okay, anything that was already in there won't fit anymore, so give me in. No, 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 no. Give me that. I keep ending up with windows. That's so weird. I guess they're building them. Give me these. Uh, this is gonna be really annoying, but I wanna do it. There we go, okay. That wasn't quite as annoying as I feared. Just gotta do it real quick. Alright, I do need a door. Portarium. All right, and it looks much nicer now. Clap, 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 clap. Okay, I can make stone steps here. Good to know. I guess we'll go ahead and make some tools. We will need them, I'm sure. There's that. There's that. on the cusp of a new hammer which will open up, up open up a lot of things for us so just gotta keep hope alive until we get there next one what's up crafty dog hey you know that is a hell of a collection of emotes you got there friendo how you doing tonight all right navaglobe This island... Yep, looks like hell. Doing! Glad to hear it. I'm... I am doing as well. Been a bit of a long day, but glad to just be here and winding down by hitting lots of things with a hammer. And occasionally a sword. And I forgot to sleep before I came out here. But hopefully I can find a little incidental house to camp. Oh, those little goopy guys! I forgot what they're called. But they're goopy. I do remember them. Oh, these. Chili peppers? Peck of chili peppers. I picked a peck. All right, we need iron. We need iron, iron is what we need. Okay, I see it. Or it's either iron or coal. Whatever it is, I want it. Aha.
There we go. All right, excellent. We got iron. Lots of iron. Suck it. You stupid ghosts. I wonder why they picked ghosts to be the enemy that comes and annoys you once the sun goes down. Because really, they could have picked anything. Maybe they thought zombies would be too Minecrafty. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and zip back. We need to make another one of these, though. <clears throat> The absolute first thing I want. Oh my god, I don't care about your mom. Ah! I don't have places to sleep. Thirty should be enough. Head of me it has been annoying fight with night errants and scorpions for this. I tried and failed multiple times. One easy difficulty level. They start you off in a pretty rough place in this one. Um, your weapons aren't really... Oh, God, yes. Your your weapons really aren't where they need to be to take on the enemies up front, but if you, if you can get to this point, it seems like I, I've got some actual equipment now, so... Just keep the faith and you'll get there. Okay. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty big improvement. That is a significant improvement, in fact. Alright, I need you to wake up so I can talk to you. Blow me down if that ain't a sight for sore eyes. I've seen iron ingot in ages. I'll be able to build hammers hard enough to break into the monster's castles. Carousel's kitted out with sledgehammers and head on over. Nearly the time for the final phase of Operation Glutamus. Let's mash the monster's doors down and bring back Barbella. Nearly being the operative word. Looks like Burley and Max ain't quite ready yet. Yeah, they're asleep. Hurry him up. Okay. I give the man iron and he gives me copper back. Amazing. All right, we really gotta do something about this. Um. Hmm. Since everybody else is out cold. I make myself a little room for myself. Didn't gate the iron so hard I could have protection of weapons do that fight. Yeah. Yeah, it's rough. It's definitely rough. Um, I'm gonna need to... Mm, mm. Ah, that's fine. I'll finish it with dirt. And then I'll do it up proper tomorrow. You know, just give me one of these for right now.
It throws me a little bit that they warn you they warn you your item chest is full. Like as as soon as it becomes full and not when you try to put something additional in there. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. I think we need some more sticks, aren't I? That should do. I think I have an extra bed. Make me one of these. Or five of those, if you're so inclined. Sure, I'll make max of that. Why not? I'd rather have sconces than those. That might be it? Yeah, I do have an extra bed in here. Door! The whole reason I came in here was to make a door, and I forgot. Alright. Sconce. Bed. Oh, I want something else, actually. So nobody screws with this. Uh, where is it? Oh, I can't do that yet. I need wood. All right. Nobody better sleep in my goddamn room. This one's mine. Do you need... Do you need two beds for it to count as a bedroom? I feel like maybe I glossed over that. You do, you do, okay, well. Well, whatever, it's bedroom now. That's the important part. Okay, now I have a place to stay, that's great. Uh, also, let's see. All right, you know what? I think this is probably a good place to stop for the night. Because it is getting late, I'm getting tired, and these guys are going to have a bunch of other shit for me to do. So I was watching some plays, and they're like, these new changes are awesome. They're also in every version of the game. You have it on Switch, and that's not true. Yeah. I've heard people complain that they they wanted um, they wanted the Switch ver version patched with the improvements that the Steam version has. So I feel fortunate that I held out for this one. I never played the original version of it. I didn't play the Switch version. And this one seems really great. And I played Dragon Quest Builders 2 before this. Um, so it wasn't actually that bad going back to this one after that because of all the improvements they made, so. Anyway, chat, that is gonna do it for tonight, but we'll be right back here tomorrow night with more of this, working our way through more of coal, helping these big burly mans who apparently just forgot how to use fucking doors all of a sudden. Um, get their lady friend back. I imagine we'll see what she's like tomorrow night. So yeah, more Dragon Quest Builders tomorrow night. Even more Dragon Quest Builders on Wednesday. Power Hours on Thursday and Saturday. That is, of course, when we go through old issues of Nintendo Power. And then on Friday, we're doing an itch.io bundle wheel. Um, if you want more details on that, check out our Discord server. Specifically, the Community Night channel. No. No, the next game channel. We're also doing community night stuff. Get on there and check that out too. Not nearly as painful for you as I expect to be. Yeah, this has been great. This really has, the only really noticeable thing for me so far is the contact damage on enemies, which I don't love. I never love contact damage, but it could be much worse. And it isn't, so I'm happy. Anyway, chat. That's going to do it. I am going to go sleep and hope that tomorrow is a better day. At least I had this nice stream to kind of brighten things up.
Im improve my situation. So I should uh, should be brighter and more chipper tomorrow. I think. I hope. I should anyway. Anyway, chat. Uh, let's see. Why don't I send you? Why don't I send you over to Bassy? They're playing uh, Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom, which isn't too far off. Not too terribly far off from what we've been doing. So, so again, thank you for coming out tonight. Uh, apologies if I wasn't wasn't as as I was saying wasn't as chipper as I normally am. But yeah, it's, it's been a trying day. I'm tired. So I will get some rest. I will have what I expect to be a better day tomorrow. And we'll all reconnoiter here tomorrow night for more Dragon Quest Builders. If that sounds good to you, hopefully I will see you then. But until then, as always, y'all take care. Bye, everybody.